Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about Weapon Post Process Grip, which is a data asset, a tool with uh, which you can adjust the aiming and non-aiming poses for the weapons. It's a quite powerful tool and yeah, so let's get started. I will, I'm on um, Android Engine 4, 27, uh, third person shooter kit, 213. Uh, now, so I will create a new level and uh, place a player. And enable possess. So, like so, here is. So it has already some weapons. Uh, let's select the player and look for post process. So it's grip post process data asset. And um, you assign it per character. You can assign it per character to a player and AI. Uh, you can have different, we search. You can have different uh, data assets, different uh, sets for per different character. And currently it is per character, but in next updates it will be per weapon. So it will be even more powerful per weapon. You'll be able to change the poses as you like. All right, so I will create, uh, I will duplicate the default one and call it uh, tutorial. Okay, and reassign it. Okay, after opening, here it is. You have a bunch of info. Remember, there are tooltips uh, for everything, and um, and yeah, a bunch of settings over here. So I will. You can change it, tweak it on uh, real time. So um, yeah, so let's start the game, and uh, here it is. So. I will aim, hit the pause key on the keyboard and F8 and I'll pause the game so the character will uh, remain aiming. Okay, so we have one handed weapon here. So um, let's focus on this one like so, so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, so you can change various things like a gun bone offset so by the way this tool is um, if you have a useful if you have like different character um, different skeleton that and uh, with different arms and uh, you know something is off with the weapon or a uh, weapon is different so you can uh, make these adjustments to your to your needs okay so first in every in every section in every option you have uh, is it active and enabled enabled? So this is for a gun bone, as you can see. So we can enable this. We can see the debug uh, arrow, and this is for adjustment of the gun bone, which is the bone that the um, uh, weapon mesh is as, uh, attached to. So you can like in real time um, tweak the location, like so, and as well the rotation. Right, so yeah, so if something is off with your skeleton with the after retargeting the animation, you can always uh, tweak it like uh, to adjust it like here, tweak it like here, and um, yeah, so so that's a gun bone, uh, hand bone rotation offset. So this is for both hands, right? Like so, you can tweak the hands also as you like. Right and the right hand the same, so the arrows. So debug is the the arrows. Sorry, the gizmo that arrows that you can see that um, how it rotates. What's the angle, right? All right. Um, so let me disable that. And next you have IK settings, which could be even more interesting. So this is for aiming, and backhand and front hand. Backhand is the one that is closer to the player. So in this case, it's the right one uh, because it's holding the gun in the well right hand. So uh, yeah, you can offset, activate offset, right? Enable the back helpers if you want, and here you can in real time change the pose of the of this uh, of this uh, you know of this character. So you can be higher, lower, or whatever. 
and same with the uh, with the elbow right which is the joint target location so um, yeah it can be closer I don't know hold, hold it like this and um, yeah so that's the that IK backhand and front hand which is the left hand in this case right in uh, well actually in any case and uh, for the if the if you would be uh, aiming with mirror uh, which is when you hold the tab button it would be other way around but that's the same settings for this case it's just inverted uh, all right so here we, you can adjust the other arm as as you like right you can be closer whatever further away and uh, similarly with the oops with the elbow right oh yeah uh, the elbow uh, won't work in this case you could uh, say it in the tooltip I think and uh, because it is um, still because it's an offset so it's still holding to this um, it's still copying the location of this um, of this arm sorry of this hand that's this is uh, to make sure that the both arms are both hands are at the same location that they don't want overlap during uh, aim offset um, all right so let's disable that and now non-aiming so let's go back to non-aiming pause f8 and pause again okay no landing aiming states let me enable this one there you go so you can also adjust the pose as you like right left right and same with the with the um, other hand well go crazy so that's how you can make a uh, pose uh, adjust to your character and uh, yeah in the future it will be also available per weapon so you'll have a lot of flexibility how the arms without making new animations how the arms are aligned okay and so let me disable that for now and uh, yeah and uh, also lower arm twist bones rotation offset which is the uh, forearm forearm rotation for twist so this is uh, like uh, you know this is rotation mainly makes sense in X this I made mainly for the metahuman because they have additional twist bones and after assigning the skeleton to mannequin it um, it needs some adjustment so that's the main reason why why the twists are here to adjust it all right so here it is you can make any any uh, if you have some artifacts you can use that okay so that was one-handed weapon let's possess and change it to two-handed just rifle Let's unpause. Um, first, I I would like to show you something related to it. Uh, that if you open the weapon, because such tool partially is already in in place. So if you look for IK uh, while having um, you know for for this uh, weapon is a, a DA, DA automatic rifle. You see, use IK pose offset. So Actually, you can already do it per um, per uh, per weapon. So if I disable that, as you can see, it's changing the the pose, right? So it's also important. So here, you can also tweak it in real time how it's supposed to um, aim, right? Forward, whatever, like so. And um, yeah, same with the elbow, and also for uh, um, when it's uh, non-aiming right you can enable that um, yeah so 
let's go back to the 200 to the post process grip 200 and uh, the main one are IK settings so how it will work this will override um, the settings from the weapon right so aiming state backhand here same you can here you can make the adjustment of the right arm right so it will go along I'll go along with the uh, with the weapon uh, front hand and um, whoops oh, it's on the other side and here uh, it's interesting that it's only only fixed for only works for the elbow the reason is because front hand is assigned is attached to the socket on the weapon to make sure that uh, we could actually see and I don't think we can change it uh, in real time I'm not sure um, uh, weapon this one whoa and if you go to skeleton and uh, look for socket attachment socket uh, not no 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 it's not going socket yeah uh, hand grip transform left or right i think the left one is for the left hand let me do it like this i'm not sure if it's working real time but yeah it is receipt so if you move the socket for the in the weapon itself you can also adjust the position how it's supposed to lay the hand right so by default it is uh, enabled right it is so it's stuck in the it's attached to the uh, to the weapon itself right so it will always follow the weapon but the option for this is over here use weapon grip rifle and uh, so the reason but still we have a tool for this so you see there is front hand ik uh, let's close that front head ik offset settings so this will add on the top of it the the offset right so it's uh, aiming aiming let's close the non aiming all right so if you enable that like so you see you can just for this instead of changing the socket updating the socket uh, you can uh, also adjust the front end position right and uh, yeah and same for the mirror state we have like uh, a lot of explanation here with the tooltip how it works and uh, so if i would disable that right i can technically show you but i have to restart the game pause it and unpause it so now when we go to aiming offset to hang it front hand this property is used right but it will not uh, follow it will not be attached to the socket on the weapon itself right so if you if you move the socket you see nothing happens um, so it's up to you which version is better I think it's better when when this is enabled because then you make sure that it won't uh, the hand will not clip and uh, so you won't be surprised why this option doesn't work uh it's it's because of this settings all right so that's about it and um non-aiming state uh same with the uh, let me enable this again same with the like like with pistol so it means like this state we have separate settings so let me close the aiming non-aiming uh, yeah backhand yeah so you can adjust the how it's supposed to hold also see and um, front hand it doesn't work as you can see because we enabled this grip and so we go to close this but we can enable it here and add an offset as you can see so you can make adjustment 
for your character and eventually per weapon as you like right for example if your character has bigger hand or something like that um yeah what else uh yeah rotation you can also update the rotation of the hand over here right to adjust it or whatever you like and um so rotation um yeah, that was the same rotation, this property is for the same rotation, but when when you aim and aiming mirror state is when you press, when you hold tab, it, um, it uh, you know, goes to the other side. So which was it? Aiming mirror, aim, hand rotation, offset. Uh, I mean, mirror front hand rotation. Uh, I think I've disabled that. Wait a second. Yeah. First, I need to enable that for the mirror. Mirror. Oh, Jesus. So here, for in this other other arm, <coughs> other arm now. So you can adjust it per arm. Mm, which was it? Yeah. And here you can adjust the rotation as you like. All right, and uh, what else? So let me go back to player and change it to this aiming F9, F8, I mean. Yeah, and yeah, so these are like all IK settings I think I covered. Same with the gun bone, right? You can also adjust where the gun's supposed to be to align it better with the hand if you want. Hand bone rotation offset. So again, additional offset for the hands, for the both hands. It is uh, the reason why it's doing this now, because it copied the rotation um, of the hand. So you need to be careful which, um, but at the same time it, it has IK. So it's like a little bit contradicting here. So you need to be, um, so you need to, if, if you want, so really if you want to change the rotation, you change the rotation here. Um, like you can adjust it here after the changing the global rotation when well, it's up to you and uh, I think you have still a lot of flexibility the great part is that it's working real time so you can real time tweak it and um, alright and the twist bones I think I showed this before right so that's a twist bone Mainly you want to change it in X. That's mainly for metahuman type skeleton. All right, so that's a um, post uh, weapon grip post process uh, data set tool. So it will be, I hope it will be useful for you for adjusting the poses for your characters and uh, weapons. And bear in mind in future updates that will you will be able to assign it per weapon. So you have even more flexibility uh, with this. All right, and uh, good luck.